Alright, so the cowards, they're waiting I got on the bus so they can turn on their sirens. I'm talking about the police. Alright, I'm standing at this bus stop. And another ambulance about two blocks away. See, they're not coming close now. Oh, yeah, man. Cigarette. Light up that cigarette, bro. Light it up. Yeah, yeah. Light it up, bro. Light it up. Yeah. Bunch of pussies. Yeah, light it up. <laughs> light it up. So, you see here? Uh, he he did the middle finger, but he, he just put his, um, you know, he bent his middle finger. This is what Pam was doing. So, this is what they, they, uh, he walking past to let me know, yeah, this is how they, how they train her to cover up her, um, her targeting of me by, instead of doing the middle finger, what she'll do is this, right? Like if I, if, if I come by her, she'll do this, right? Let's take a picture of my hands. She'll, she'll do this. Right, she have my middle finger. See, this is my middle finger. So she'll do this, right? But she'll raise her middle finger up like that, but with a, the part of her finger bent, right? So this is what they got her doing. So when he walked by, he, you know, puffing on that cigarette, lighting that cigarette up. You know how many times he lit it up before because I had the phone the other way around? He started from that Walgreen, and for the minute he hit that Walgreen, he started lighting his cigarette came over here about uh maybe about two or three times before he finally got over here where I, where he uh, again uh lit it up right you light up a cigarette so yeah you know they they go through their subtle ways of trying to target me and they try to do things subtly in a uh, subtle you know in a in a masking type of way Right, just as uh, even to the, like, like Pam, every time she comes into the kitchen, no, actually, every time whenever she sees me, if I'm walking towards her, she's in the hallway walking towards me, she will turn around and walk away. Um, I'm in the kitchen, uh, she comes in the kitchen, she turns around and walk back out. And I said to her, I said, I said, I said, why every time you see me, you turn around and walk the opposite way? She's like, oh, you know, stop, stop reading into things. I said, I said to her, I said, I'm not reading into anything, I'm just this is what I observe, it's not reading anything, this is what you do. This is what you're doing. So, you know, you ain't going to try to, uh, you know, try to be slick about it, you know. And she hates it that I call her out on her on, on when she, whenever she targets me, you know. She, she hates it, right? Because, again, she think they have her and others believe it because this is in the psychological realm or the psychological uh, um, part of targeting someone. That they're not actually hurting someone or harming someone in any way but we know that's a lie we know that's a lie and that's the, how they feel like they can get away with this you know that's how they think they can get away with this right so you know i mean a bunch of she talking to me i'm still there i'm still whenever she you know she asks me to watch the kids i still do it you know like fr this friday coming up she has a wedding to go to i told her i watch the kids then she come back and she's like oh she has a um a christian i say well you know you, you can take the kids to the christian okay i ain't gotta watch the kids when you go to the christian you can take the kids with you it is it is a christian it's not like say kids are not uh invited you know because they always have a christian and the christian party afterwards and you know it's always the kids are always there all right so that's why i say you know hey you, you take the kids i mean if you got somebody that can watch them go ahead fine you know but i i need my rest i i watch the kids for you to go to this wedding then you got another wedding you gotta go do you want me to watch the kids and i said okay you know what i'm saying but this is what she does right <laughs> you know and um then she wants me to watch the kids for uh a few days right because she's home i think for a couple she's home i think the babysitter's going on vacation like that so i gotta watch the kids she wants me to watch the kids for three days i said no i said you know listen i need i um i said i watch them the Tuesday and Wednesday, but the Monday you're gonna have to um, you get somebody else. I said, "Into work with you. You've done it before, you know." So, you know, then she was like, "Oh, you know, why are you why are you saying no? You know, you're not doing anything." I said, "Don't worry about my time. You don't worry about your time, okay? You don't worry about my time. You know when that." Whenever when I call you, like, well, you know, the kids are not with me. They, you know, they're home. The babies are watching them, so you just that's what you need to be calling. I said, okay, <laughs> okay, not a problem. 
But yet, when it comes to her wanting to go out and do whatever, whatever, guess who she asked, right? Okay. Right? So she, you know, she asked me. You know, but she puts it in a way in which, you know, she doesn't outright come out and ask me because she doesn't want to. See, that's, that's the guilty conscience. When she knows what it is that she's doing, so now she, she don't want to ask me. So she got to put it in a way like, oh, you know, I got a, I got a Kristen to go to and, um, you know, but I don't want to take the kids with me and this and that. So I'm like, what, well, you, 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 you want me to watch them, right? Well, if you can, I'm like, no, I'm not doing it. You could take, you could take them to the Kristen with you, okay? You could take them to the Kristen, nope. <laughs> so, and then to look at her face afterwards. Uh, you know? Like I said, for any TI, you know, you gotta do a lot of research on psychological manipulation and emotional manipulation and how to break uh, emotional attachment and stuff like that. You gotta be able to detach yourself. And it's hard, you know, sometimes you gotta do it at your own pace. Because, you know, it works work, work, work. <laughs> All this damn noise. Alright? That's the um, sanitation truck. Alright, so like I said, you gotta work, you gotta do what's best for you and how it works for you. You know, don't let other people tell you all oh, this and that. They can give you advice, but you know what's best for you, right? At least most of the time. Okay. And I've been telling pandas for uh, over a year now. I said, you know what, you're gonna keep doing what you're doing and it's gonna to get to the point where, you know, I'm just gonna be like, hey, whatever, you know, and I risk the shit. So, you know. You still care about the person, but you gotta learn that if they're manipulating you or they're using you in some way, you know, you, you gotta be able to, um, you know, you go to your own pace. But eventually, if you do what you need to do, like I said, if you study psychology, study emotional manipulation, study all the different personality types, you know, from, from narcissism to, um, you know, uh, delusional disorder to, uh, attention deficit disorder to you know uh, multiple personalities all the types all these things you learn about okay because you will meet people who will have one or two of those types of uh, personalities right right psychopathic sociopath uh, Machiavellian types the Machiavellian types are usually the ones that are um, politicians um, wealthy people um, huh? No, sometimes they stop over here. So I, I stand right here. So I don't have that. If, if he stops here, I can walk there. And if he stops there, I don't have to try to run. It's okay. You don't need to see me. There, there's people. People's going to get off at this stop. When he drives by, I, I can wave to him. <laughs> okay? So it's okay. Yeah. So you know, they always gotta feel the need to come and say something to me. I don't know. I understand, lady. I don't need your help. I'm good. <laughs> you know, I am good. All right. I've been taking the bus and standing up at this bus for how long? All right. And I'm usually standing over there, and then the bus end up uh, driving past and um, going the other way. Okay. Uh, this one is. It says not in service. See? If I want to stand up where she told me to stand up at, what do you think was going to happen? See that? Look at that. See? That's, that's why I said. <laughs> that's why I said what I said. <laughs> you know? This is, oh, he's not in service. I guess he's maybe letting people off. Oh, he's not in service? Not in service. See, look at that shit. Bus, bus not in service. Oh, okay.
Yeah, all right, so I just got out of the bus. Now, when I was at the bus stop, before I got on, the, the bus driver didn't want to open up the doors because every other stop after that, uh, she opened up, it was a female bus driver, she opened up the doors, right? So, <laughs> what was going on? Well, she didn't want to let uh, certain people on the bus, huh? Is that what it was? Because I was standing at the bus stop. She didn't want to let me in on the bus, even though there were other people waiting on the bus. But like I said, every other stop after that, she opened up them doors. <laughs> right? She opened up those bus doors. Okay. Yeah. JDL 9763 Honda CRV, right? The driver, female. Oh, they got a lot of women out here tonight talking to me. Uh, yeah, y'all not gonna win. Y'all ain't winning shit because y'all a bunch of pussies. That's what happened. Y'all a bunch of pussies. Yeah, you can even look mad. Look, he's mad. He's mad. He's mad. Yeah, y'all a bunch of pussies. Yeah, you mad? Yo, he mad. <laughs> Yeah, you mad? Yeah, fuck you too. <laughs> you give me the little finger. Yeah, fuck you too. All right? Fuck out of here. Okay? So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's how you deal with them cowards. That's how you deal with them cowards, bunch of pussies. Yeah, you mad too, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. You telling y'all fuck with the wrong one, yeah. You fuck with the wrong one. Put it on your shirt, yeah, yeah. I hear you. A bunch of cowards. A bunch of cowards. He did pinching on his shirt. <laughs> ah, he wearing a gray shirt. A bunch of fucking cowards. All right, the thing that they again. And you look up. Look up Stanley Milgram, the Milgram, Stanley Milgram experiment, and how people, and they do this from time to time, so that's how they know they can get people to participate in these things, because they always do. Every time they do any type of experiment like that, in which you have those in the authoritative position, giving people instruction that can harm, even kill someone, those people follow through, right? Those type of experiments have been done over and over. Right? And they get the exact same results. Most people will kill someone if they are given what is called, uh, what is it, the, and the uh, amenity of uh, accountability. Right? So now what they've done. In these type of experiments, what they do is that they will say, well, listen, you cannot be held liable or accountable for anything that goes wrong in this experiment. If a person die, you would not be held accountable. If a person is greatly harmed, you would not be held accountable. And they do these experiments over and over and they always end up the same. Most people will participate in these types of destructive behavior. Okay, most people will participate in these types of destructive behavior. Okay, so for those new TIs, I'm gonna tell you guys do not be surprised. Okay, stop asking yourself why and why these people are doing it, it doesn't matter. Okay, stick to trying to understand what's being done to you on the psychological level, on the technological level, but focus more on the psychological level because that is 85% of your targeting. Even though the technological part of it also involves manipulating your mind in certain ways. So what do we say to these bastards? We tell them, we say, fuck you. That's what we say. <laughs> right? 
You say, fuck out of here. With your experiment, with your coercive persuasion, with all that shit. Okay? So, yeah. So, they're mad. They are mad because they were trying to threaten me. Oh, if you leave, apparently we're going to shoot you. All the fireworks is going on the side. As soon as I said to her, hey, I'm going to get ready to go. They started with the fireworks, right? But then when I actually got dressed and leave, look, look, look. Right woman across the street. Yeah. <laughs> Funny as shit. Oh, look, 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 yes, I know. I got you. Bunch of clowns, ass wipes. So, this is what happens. Okay? So now they're mad. They're stark raving mad. Okay? They are stark raving mad. Because you know what? This TI is exposing them in a way in which they've never been exposed before. And not also that, this TI, through my years of learning what is being done, is able to counter a lot of their subliminal programming in which they try to do. Right? And so they are they are mad at that. Okay? They are they are mad at that. Right? So it is okay. TIs, it is okay. You know? Like I said, those of you who can't fight, we'll fight for you. Those of you who feel like they don't have a voice, we'll be your voice. Those of us who are exper fighting against this uh, experimentation program and who are putting it out there so the world can see what's being done right in America and it's not just America because this happens in a lot of nations across the globe okay because again these governments they know these weapons exist they develop them they create them they develop them and they use them on the civilian population because again if you can turn the civilian population against itself in a country you don't have to fire a single bullet you don't have to drop a single bomb you watch that nation implode from within okay and law enforcement office police uh cia mm -hmm. uh, here see if i hear the fire i said police yeah yeah here's them yeah they're a bunch of pussies and i said it i say it many times if i have to right they're a bunch of racist pussies including the black ones too who participated in this yes black people in when they're in that position of authority they can't be racist against their own because they have the power to strip you of your freedom okay how many times have you heard police planting evidence on black people innocent black people all right send them to jail for years decades 20 30 40 years in jail right and it's not just a one-off thing right there are thousands of black men and women in jail right now that don't belong there because programs like this right and so we got to stand up and take a stand we got to fight okay we got to fight